What's going on YouTube? Just before we start this video, just wanted to let you know whoever ordered a Wolfpack limited edition Unleash the Beast t-shirt, they are ready and they are on their way. I'm literally going to ship them all out now. As you can see, all of them are in there. I'm sure you'll like the the t-shirt quality, the packaging, um, everything. So if you get a chance, make sure you tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I'll repost and let's keep this family alive. But onto the video. Peace. You can hide, you can run. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. Run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Think sharp, man, listen. You can hide, you can run. What's going on YouTube? Gabriel say, aka The Truth checking in. And today, as promised, you guys asked for it, so I'm delivering my music playlist. Now this is my current playlist. It does change from time to time. Some tracks last a bit longer than others, but this is what I currently used and what I used in my, a few of the tracks are what I used in my prep for the Arnold's. So, gonna count down from 10 to one. And with each one, I'm gonna play the track and explain why. Number 10. E6 to E13 by D. Clark. This is off the Grand Theft Auto album. Um, listening to this track in someone's car, pulled out my phone, hit Shazam, find out what the track was. Now this one, it gets, gets me hyped. You can tell by, you know, the tone of the, the flow of the beat and everything like that just gets me so so hyped so this was this kind of dropped down because there's other tracks that have that have the same effect um, which we'll get to so on to the next one number nine <laughs> this one is it's probably going to shock a few people because people don't realize that i was big into this type of music from when i was younger as well Pendulum, Tarantula, ah, oh, banger. When it, when, when it hits that little lull and then it starts to build up, build up, and then it drops into like the drum and bass, mm, I, I reckon I could lift the world to that drop. Yeah, so that, that's the reason why I have that one in my playlist. Number eight. This is the comeback from Chipmunk. Chip Diddy Chip, I'm Fine, featuring Shiloh or someone, I can't remember, but Chipmunk's the main man. That's all you need to know. I don't really care about who features on it, although they're good, but Chipmunk's the main man. Now this one just gets normally pre-gym, gets you bubbling, gets your mind right. When I'm looking over my training plan, see what weights I need to hit, see what PRs I need to be hitting, just gives me a nice vibe, if you know what I mean. Okay, on to the next one, and this one is number seven. And that is Gets Gas Mark 9. Oh, when this track first, when I first heard this when it was released, I, I'm pretty sure this was just looping, looping, looping. It just, yeah, I haven't heard from Gets in a while. Um, been on a couple other people's tracks and little things here and there but there was never anything that solid then he brought out gas mark 9 and i was like yeah um, i've always been although i have quite an eclectic music taste my it always goes back to the grime roots the old school garage roots the speed garage like the jungle that, that, was, that was kind of like path that I took. So Gas Mark 9, yeah, just pure hype. Pure hype. So, on to the next one. Okay, on to number six. And this one is J. Cole, Fire Squad. This track, like, J. Cole is one of the best lyricists, best artists now. Like, he just, he's just mind blowing. And when I'm doing abs or I'm doing anything that's quite calm and relaxed but still need to be getting a good output and good intensity level, this track is playing and I'm like, just, just bouncing. It's 
bouncing or leg raising. Know what I'm saying? All right, on to the next one. And this one is number five. From my main man, Ludacris. Grew up a screw up. Now the, the main reason why I like this track is the lyrical play, the lyrical content. In terms of a lyricist, Ludacris, he gets you thinking. You know, everything that he says, there's, you know, even if it's subliminal, there's always something that gets you thinking about something. And I, th I think, I'm just gonna say, download it, listen to the lyrics, and then tell me what you think. Especially one of the very last lyrics. Yeah, gets me going every time. Just makes you wanna step up a gear. So that would be like when I'm literally coming to PR and I'm not sure, like I have that piece of doubt in my head and I'm like, nah, I need to kick that. So then I put this track on and it just sees me through. On to the next one. All right, number four. This track just makes me feel straight up gangster. Zero, zero, I did that with the links of gangster. 50 Cent. Piggy bank. Oh man, it's just <laughs> you, know, you just be you'll be lifting and you just you just feel gangster. You know what I mean? You know, you must know what I mean. You just you just feel good and you just feel like yeah, I'ma lift this. You know? I don't care. I'ma lift this. Gangster. So <laughs> that's the reason why I listen to that track and I can have it looping because especially in, in one of those hard sessions where you're struggling a little bit, ain't nothing wrong with feeling gangster. So that's my number five. Was that five or four? I can't remember now. On to the next one. On to number three. This is the one that I was playing in the car. Kano, hail. Kano, if I go back to 2003, when I just started uni and Tim Westwood was blowing up the scene and he was coming to doing raves and, you know, Kano's P's and Q's would drop on the bit, on the, on the speakers and it would just blow everyone's minds. And then everyone would just go crazy. So when he kind of dropped off and there was a whole thing with his record label, I, I was a bit annoyed because I, I love his music. I love the fact that he still brings back the old school grime and has his commercial side as well. So when he came out with Hail and I listened to this track, oh, it took me back to those days. And that was the year that I started lifting. So, you know, it all joins up. It all joins up. and. Oh, I'm glad Kano's back on the scene and I'm glad all these other artists are back on the scene, that chipmunk. So that's my number three. On to the next one. Number two. <laughs> Crept and Conan. Don't waste my time. This, there's just something about the track and this is the remix as well. The remix with, like, it's got chipmunk on it. It's got Wretch 3-2. Wretch 3-2's verse is nasty. Rich 3 2 is probably one of the best British artists to come on the scene. He's, his flow is just, yeah, yeah, you know, like that. Just easy. And this track, it just gets me going when I'm just fed up with people. People wasting my time. You know, the, the, there's so many. I love you guys. You guys support me through this whole journey, but there's some people out there that just on a mission to just waste your time, whether it's in the gym, whether it's through business. So this track goes on, headphones stay on, and don't waste my time. Simple. Say no more. S M M. That is my number two. On to the next one. Number one. Remains a mystery for now. Toasty. This track itself, I literally in the last two weeks for 60% of my workouts, I had this on repeat. 
repeat, 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 repeat. It just, it dug into some part of me that just made me wanna just destroy anything that was placed in front of me, any weight that was placed in front of me. I was like, I'm lifting it, I'm pushing it, I'm pulling it, whatever it was. And I, I don't know why there's always a track in the final two weeks of like prep that a song would do this to me and I can play on loop for, you know, continuously for whole sessions. And this was the one that got me. And the reason why it's a mystery is because we're working on a motivational piece and this is gonna be the track for it. So make sure you watch out for that because it's gonna be dangerous. So that is my playlist. Sorry about the mystery on the last one, but you know, got to keep the suspense going. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And I will see you tomorrow. But until then, peace. You, you, you can't hide, you can't hide. Remember to.